Today, another tragic mass shooting took place, resulting in several innocent lives lost at Santa Fe High School, very close by in Texas. Tonight, we dedicate our show to the victims, their friends, their families, and anyone who has been affected by senseless gun violence. All of you are in our prayers. However, thoughts and prayers are no longer enough. As young people, the future is in our hands and we must continue to shape it as leaders who take action and help make our world a better and safer place. organization presents Miss Teen USA 2018. Miss Teen USA is fearless, authentic, ambitious, empowering, influential. Miss Teen USA is a voice. Miss Teen USA is confidently beautiful. Live from Shreveport, Louisiana. This is the 2018 Miss Teen USA competition. Now get ready, y'all. Memorial Coliseum in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's Miss Team USA 2018.
Robenstein, Tennessee. Brenna Blaine, Miss Team USA 2018, founder of Slave Model Management, CC Asuncion, and host of E! News The Rundown, Aaron Lim. Welcome to the 2018 Miss Team USA presented by Sherry Hill. Let's hear it again for all 51 contestants. As you'll discover this evening, these are not your average teenagers. They're high school valedictorians, law students, medical students, Ivy Leaguers. Talented musicians, decorated athletes, business owners, bloggers, and vloggers. And tonight, you'll see them all live from Georgia Spawn at Hirsch Coliseum here in Shreveport, Bossier. It's going to be an action-packed show, but before we get started, let's give it up one more time for our contestants. Don't they look stunning in their Cherry Hill dresses? And I wish they could all move on to the finals. But the first order of business is to narrow the playing field down to our top 15. On Tuesday, our selection committee interviewed the contestants one by one, then viewed them on stage during our tough preliminary competition. Their votes, along with the members of the Miss Universe organization, determined who would make tonight's first cut. And Tall Goldhammer from the counting firm of Ernst & Young has those results. Here they come. Hey, Tall. Hi. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here are your top 15 finalists. First up, California. Joining the top 15, Maryland. The next contestant is Illinois. Please welcome Nevada. We're calling Georgia. Let's hear it for Colorado. Moving forward, Michigan. Turn, North Carolina. This moment belongs to Utah.
You can relax now, South Carolina. Come on over, Louisiana. Give it up for Kansas. Are you ready, West Virginia? And rounding up the top 15 is Florida. Both of her parents are veterans, so this 17-year-old assembles care packages for deployed female soldiers. California! Marilyn, this 18-year-old once ran a regional political campaign. She's currently double majoring in communications and political science. Marilyn. Illinois! She currently attends a prestigious performing arts high school. This 17-year-old also co-directed a national winning dance team, Illinois. Nevada. An aspiring film student, the 17-year-old wrote a children's book on anti-bullying which has read to more than 8,000 students. Nevada. Georgia. This 17-year-old hopes to become a doctor and once accepted a community service medal at the White House, Georgia. Colorado. She wants to be an applied behavior analysis therapist. This 17-year-old also educates others on the dangers of drinking and driving, Colorado. Michigan. Born into poverty in Ethiopia, she lived on the streets before being adopted by an American family, Michigan. Tennessee. This 19-year-old won a long state title in long jump with a leap of 18 feet, 6 inches in the future. She hopes to become a human rights attorney, Tennessee. North Carolina, a psychology and international business student, this 18-year-old founded her high school's Bollywood Culture Club, North Carolina. Utah, this 19-year-old volunteers at the Utah Food Bank. Despite a fear of heights, she enjoys cliff jumping and riling roller coasters, Utah. South Carolina, a junior Olympian and state track and field champion, this 18-year-old college freshman is studying language and international trade, South Carolina. Louisiana, this 17-year-old wants to help other teens overcome anxiety and hopes to become a medical illustrator, Louisiana. Kansas. She speaks to middle school students about the importance of self-love. This 17-year-old plans to pursue a law degree at Princeton, Kansas. West Virginia. This 16-year-old works as a dance instructor, and she graduated high school early and plans to study marketing and political science in college, West Virginia. Florida, an aspiring state senator, this 17-year-old hopes to attend Harvard, where she wants to focus on pre-law and business. Florida. Thank you, contestants. One of these 15 young women will be crowned Miss Teen USA and become a powerful voice for teens around the country. Someone who knows all about that responsibility is last year's winner, Miss Teen USA 2017, Sophia dominguez Hightoff. <laughs> Give her a 
big round of applause, you guys. She's had an incredible year. Sophia, you are breathtaking. Thank you so much. You have worked with so many great organizations, but I hear the Girl Scouts have a special place in your heart. Absolutely. From being a Girl Scout as early as I can remember, way back when I was a little kindergartner, to receiving my Girl Scout Gold Award, this organization is very close to my heart and actually was one of the first experiences that I had at Miss Teen USA as my flight from Phoenix, Arizona, where I was crowned to New York City for my media week. I was sitting right next to the president and CEO of the Girl Scouts of the USA organization. Definitely one of those fate moments and starting then I created my partnership with the Girl Scouts and I've truly loved every moment of it. So I gotta ask and I think everyone's curious, what's the best Girl Scout cookie? Absolutely peanut butter patties. That's debatable. I'm more of a Thin Mint girl. Anyone else? Thin Mints? All right, shout out to Thin Mints. <laughs> now that your reign is almost over, what does the future hold? Well, I will still be continuing my full-time college studies as I have while being Miss Teen USA and double majoring in political science and English, and I'll be minoring in global and international studies with um, future plans to attend law school. Uh, due to the professional skills that I gained as Miss Teen USA, I'll be able to leverage on those to have future career, oppor career opportunities, and I'm just really excited for my future. I think you just blew everyone's minds right now. You are incredible. Thank you so much. Congratulations on your year. You have made it so inspiring. Let's hear it one more time for Sophia Dominguez High Talk. You just learned a little bit more about the reigning Miss Teen USA, but the big question is, which lucky lady will she be crowning later tonight? Let's meet the selection committee who will be making that tough decision. the beauty director at Cosmopolitan, Women's Health, and Seventeen Magazines, Marta Topran. She's a dancer, entrepreneur, model, and television personality who stars in the hit show Dance Moms, Kalani Hilliker. This former Miss Louisiana USA won a special edition of Fear Factor and later competed with her family on season eight of The Amazing Race, Brittany Rogers Collins. Crowned Miss USA in 2008, this talented actress has gone to star in several TV shows and movies, including the full-time media journalist for KTBS 30 News in Shreveport, Bea Rolden. An award-winning sports journalist who's covered the Summer Olympics, Wimbledon, the NBA Finals, the World Series, and the Super Bowl, Ashley Fox. Thank you, Selection Committee. Now, before we begin the active wear competition, I'd like to say thanks to the Shreveport Bossier for being an amazing host city, and a special shout out to Stacy Brown and the Shreveport Department of Tourism. <laughs> Give it up for the city, you guys. Come on, is this a beautiful city or what? Come on, I mean. And the food's incredible. I've eaten so much while I've been here. <laughs> and of course, let's give a round of applause for the president of the Miss Universe organization, Paula Sugar. Are you guys ready to bring the top 15 back out here? I don't think you guys are ready. I'm going to go home. I need to hear you. Are you ready? All right, then let's go. The 2018 Miss Teen USA Active Wear competition kicks off with California.
Colorado. Tennessee. Election committee are busy tallying their votes to figure out which 10 from our top 15 are moving on to compete in tonight's evening gown competition. And while they're doing their thing, let's meet the reigning Miss USA 2017, Kyra McCullough. She is here. I know she is in the building. She's probably making an incredible outfit change while we're waiting for her. I'm just going to do a twirl for you guys because I've been practicing. I'm no pageant girl, but you know what? I could try. And here she is. Give it up, you guys. You look fabulous! Ooh, we got the little shimmy going. Okay, so you and I, we hosted the Miss USA prelims last night. Did we kill it or what? I think we did. What do y'all think? What does the house think? <laughs> what was your favorite part about last night? Well, definitely just being next to you, Erin, and really seeing all the energy and hard work that all these women have put in um, before they entered onto the stage. So I saw so much energy last night, so many smiles, and I know the judges did as well. So ladies, give yourselves a round of applause. 
As we learned last year at the Miss USA pageant, you are a nuclear chemist, and I know that you started your own organization, Science, Science Exploration for Kids. Tell us about that. Sure. So Science Exploration for Kids is a STEAM nonprofit. So we do science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, and we incorporate the arts into our program for a more fun with purpose type of idea. And we do this through everyday techniques. So we do after school programs, summer camps, one day workshops. And actually I just had my first inaugural workshop on March 24th in DC and it was called, woo! <laughs> it was called Take Fight with SC4K. And I had a full day of wonderful sponsors such as Facebook, Bechtel, Excel Services. And I'm just so proud that the city of DC actually came out to support and actually, many of the queens came as well, too, so it was really appreciated, and that's not the last one. We have some few more, a few more coming up as well, and you can go to sc4k.org to find out about it. Congratulations. You are so impressive. Thank you so much for joining us here on stage. Let's hear it one more time for Miss USA, Kyra McCullough. Thank you. All right, now that you've met our inspiring Miss USA, let's get back to our equally inspiring young adults. On Wednesday evening, all 51 contestants participated in the preliminary competition. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that night. Tonight's a big night, presentation show. The girls get to show off on stage tonight. I'm competing on the Team USA stage. Watch Miss USA, Miss Universe my whole life. You no, know, I actually feel totally calm. Um, I'm just very relaxed. That's what we were joking about it in the makeup room. I feel very zen. All the contestants get to compete tonight, which is super exciting. My family actually just landed a few hours ago, so they're all here now. I saw them out in the hallway. My mom, my grandma, my other grandma, my dad are supposed to be here, and of course my mom's going to live stream it for everyone, so everybody back at home is going to be watching. The Miss Universe organization presents Miss Teen USA 2018. Backstage, we were jamming out to music. We all have our speakers blaring, and we've just been singing to like throwback songs. So I'm kind of distracting myself by listening to music. The scariest would probably have to be at pronouncing my state because it's like a tongue twister for me sometimes. Michigan, New Mexico, North Carolina. That was amazing. The preliminary competition narrowed the field to our top 15. Now it's time to find out which 10 contestants will be moving on to the next round. Before we get those results, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors this evening. Sherry Hill, Chi Hair Care, The Perfect Face Cosmetics, and Supermodels Unlimited. And a big thank you to Chinese Laundry and Bold Sunless Tanning as well. And you know what, while we're doing shameless plugs, make sure you watch the rundown every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Snapchat. Yes. So 
I'm getting word that the selection committee has made their picks and we have our top 10. Okay, I'm excited. Erin, will you please get the results from Tall? So you're gonna make me get it when I'm in I the mean, dress, you know, you know what? what? All right, fine. We'll both do it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tall. Okay, get ready. Here is your top 10. First up, Kansas. Next, we're calling Tennessee. It's your turn, Utah. Let's hear it for Florida. The fifth young woman in the top 10 is Colorado. The next lucky lady is North Carolina. Still in the running, Georgia. You're safe, Louisiana. Next, we've got Illinois. And the final contestant moving on is South Carolina. Give it up for your top 10. Thank you so much, ladies. It's time for them to prepare for the evening gown competition. Thank you so much. So earlier this week, all of the teams got together for a night of bonding as they played games and got to know each other at a pop-in PJ party. Take a look. Who is your girl boss? <laughs> My hashtag girl Me? boss. No, it is you. How did you know? We're about to do some fun speed dating. I cannot wait to meet all of these amazing contestants. It's all super fun because we're all wearing like crazy pajamas. What is your guilty pleasure? Guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure? Yes. Chocolate and peanut butter. Right. Oreos and peanut butter. I, oh my gosh. Okay, so I love chick fil waffle fries, and then I'll put Nutella on it. Nutella? Nutella, okay. Uh, what's your biggest fear? Being eaten by a shark. My biggest fear? Um, ants infesting my body. It just, it just really freaks me out. <laughs> Mine is nuts. Someone putting me in a cage and then putting like bricks in the cage and then taking me to the middle of an ocean like where it's oh at my night God, time, those this. scary oceans with like vicious animals in it and just putting me in it and dropping me down. Mine is stupid. What is it? I'm literally so afraid of other people peeing in their pants. What? Hey, who is your celebrity crush? Zac Efron has been mine since High School Musical and he will forever be mine. I have to say Zac Efron, like still. Zac Efron. Every girl loves Zac Efron. Like I know it's super cheesy to say Zac Efron, but like, for real, like if you watch his old movies, like to this day, like I'm a fan from Reese Channing Tatum. Yeah, I've always these, been obsessed with him. I like him in the like dancing movies or whatever they're yeah. called. Oh, yeah. Magic Mike. Yeah. No, not that one. <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve? Chewing with their mouth. Yeah. Biggest pet peeve. Hearing people chew. Like if people are around me and they're like, even if you're not chewing, just like, oh. I hate the noise. <laughs> like, just close your mouth, be polite, like it's okay. I know. Yes. I don't want to hear your food in your mouth. What's yours? Odd numbers. So you don't like how it's 51 contestants? No, it honestly bothers me so bad. Um, who's your girl boss? Olivia Colville. Yes, I love like her. And uh, Bella Hadid. My general ones are like, of course, Olivia Colbo, uh -huh. Beyonce's a given. Mine is Sofia Coppola, who's a female director because I aspire to be in the film industry. Who's yes. your girl boss? Ellen DeGeneres. I love her. If I could be on the Ellen show, I would cry. That's oh, like no. my goal in life, is to meet Ellen DeGeneres. I like want to like hold her hand and be like, ah. <laughs> like never wash my hand again. <laughs> I like evening gown. It's like where you can feel elegant. Yeah. Yeah. I love on stage question. That's a good one. It's definitely like one of the most nerve wracking right. questions, but I think it really helps you like think fast on your feet. Why do you love being at Miss Teen USA? I get to meet somebody from every different state. Yeah. It's really cool. I'm very to myself, like back home. So, like, me being around like 50 girls is just like overwhelming, it's like, it's but it's fun. just, it feels so good because, like, 
I have 50 new best friends, you know? I've already had so much fun meeting all the girls. Me and like, I want to meet like all of their weddings. Okay, I think we're done dating. But it was nice meeting you. Wow, I guess our invitation got lost in the mail, huh? I know, right? <laughs> well, while the contestants glam it up backstage in preparation for the evening gown, it's our pleasure to introduce you to the reigning Miss Universe. Please put your hands together for Miss Universe 2017, Demi Lee Nell Peters. You are flawless, my friend. Thank you. So, so do you. You look beautiful. I've heard you've been traveling the world for the last couple of months. Tell me about that experience. I have. We just got back from the Philippines, Mexico. Um, we're here in Louisiana. So I am just seeing every corner of the world. And I'm so grateful and so fortunate to be doing what I love. Now, as gorgeous as you are, you are one tough cookie. I read a story about a carjacking situation and you fought off an intruder. Is that true? Um, yes, it is. So I, in that situation, I just realized that I do not want to go to the second destination after they tried pushing me back into the car. And um, I thought, well, I could either do nothing or try and get away. And my only resource was to try and fight myself out of it. And I did, and I managed to get away, and eventually, eventually a young woman about my age stopped and helped me um, after nobody else actually wanted to stop. So, and that is how Unbreakable was born. <laughs> yeah, please tell me about that campaign. Um, Unbreakable was born shortly after um, my carjack incident happened um, in South Africa, and I started this campaign hosting workshops all over South Africa, empowering women and young girls with skills and knowledge on how to handle anything violent related against women. Um, I wish I could be telling you that these things should not be happening to women, that this is not, not supposed to be a reality. And I really hope and pray that one day it won't be. But right now, it still is a big reality, a very, very sad reality, especially in some countries. And um, if I can empower as many women as possible throughout this year um, and in the future, it would make me so happy. And I'm so grateful for the Miss Universe platform where I'm now able to not just reach um, women in my own home country, but women all over the world. Thank you so much for making a difference in our world. Thank you, Demi Lee. If you want to learn more about Demi Lee and all of the hottest Miss Universe gossip, be sure to follow Miss Universe on all social media channels. Demi Lee certainly exemplifies beauty and grace, much like the next portion of our competition, the Evening Gown Parade. All the beautiful colors and styles make this Miss Teen USA tradition a fan favorite. So without further ado, let's kick off the Evening Gown Parade and competition.
USA. We begin the evening gown competition with Kansas. Georgia! Oh. 
we all been too laser focused on Aaron and I to notice that the 51 young contestants backstage aren't the only confidently beautiful women in the building this evening. We also happen to have the 2018 Miss USA contestants in the house. They're here in Shreveport, Bossier, because on Monday at 8 p.m., the Miss USA telecast is happening here, live on Fox. The contestants from both Miss Teen USA and Miss USA had a chance to spend some time together and enjoy the southern hospitality of Shreveport, Bossier, while also being treated to some world-famous cuisine. Yum. Yes. <laughs> Miss Teen USA 2017. I'm here at Taste of Shreveport in the Remington Hotel, and I'm gonna eat like a local. Come on with me. Crawfish, shaped crawfish. Beautiful. Do you wanna go try some shrimp and grits? I'd love to. Yeah, let's go do it. To be honest, I've never had shrimp. Never had shrimp. Do you not like shrimp? I've just never tried it. Well, we, this is the first for everyone, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm on fear factor almost. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Bone apple tea. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. The smokiness. Mm -hmm. mm, it's better than pizza. Better than pizza. Look who I found. The host of the teen show. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm enjoying street for it. It's a little hot, so I have my fan. Oh yeah, I totally can relate. <laughs> How do you feel that you get to be the host of Miss Teen USA? I'm super excited. I mean, I I remember in high school, it was one of my biggest dreams to be in Miss Teen USA, but I got to host it now, so that's exciting. There's something really spooky in there I want you to see. It's an alligator! Mm, yummy! Can't wait to eat it! I want to know, do you like jambalaya or gumbo? I'd have to say jambalaya. I'd probably have to say jambalaya. Me too. Ooh, is that moving? They're not live, right? No. <laughs> I'm from the Midwest, I'm not used to this. <laughs> First crawfish, thickest. I give it a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go crash this table, see what they're up to. How are you feeling here in Treeport? I'm in love. I love this town. And I have a very important question to ask you, and you need to take it very seriously, okay? What was the last photo you took? There were actually a bunch of boas and Mardi Gras masks. I think I'm a southern girl at heart. So. <laughs> For Sophia, she's getting good at this interviewing and hosting thing, huh? I think she's better than me, really. Where is she? <laughs> she Bring can replace here. us when we need a break. <laughs> the Miss USA contestants have been a great source of inspiration for their sister teens in Shreveport, Bossier, but they aren't the only ones who've offered words of encouragement. Check it out. Hello, I'm Sophia Dominguez Hightop, Miss Teen USA 2017. Hey ladies, this is Cami Crawford, Miss Teen USA 2010. Hey girls, it's Stevie. First off, welcome to Miss Teen USA. To all of the Miss Teen USA contestants competing tonight, have the most amazing time. Soak everything in. You are prepared. You've done everything you can do to prepare for this moment and it's here. So just relax and enjoy it. You all have made it, which is a huge accomplishment in itself. But now here we are. My advice for you right now is as cliche as it sounds, it's also extremely beautiful. 
be yourself. Remember that Confidently Beautiful is about more than just being pretty. You are all intelligent, accomplished, kind, courageous young women. Have no regrets, leave it all on the stage, show the judges who you are, show them your heart, show them your true soul and your true self. So just soak up every single moment and always remember to be confidently beautiful. Just take a deep breath and enjoy every moment of competing at Miss Teen USA. My advice for you is actually something I got from my father and it was right before I left to go to the Bahamas and he told me, he said, Stevie, when you go, I don't want you to compete against anybody else. He said, I want you to go and compete against yourself. Be the best version of you and have so much fun. So that's what I actually encourage you girls to do. Is have so much fun because that's what I did and I somehow managed to win the whole thing. Being Miss Teen USA and going through that process really taught me so much, but it especially brought me a community of women who were supportive and of each other and empowering. And I think that there's this big idea that pageants are all there for competition and everyone's trying to undermine each other, but really it's a celebration of individuality, of beauty and confidence, and of women across the country. The judges are looking for a confident young woman who would make an incredible Miss Teen USA, and that could be any one of you. Let them see you, and I promise you, it will make a very good impression. And you, in the end, will be happy because it's you who's gonna shine. The moment the Miss Teen USA crown was placed on my head, my life was transformed. I was a 15-year-old sophomore who was expecting to go back to high school the next week, but instead was starting off my year as Miss Teen USA. And from there on, I got to experience so many things that many people my age don't get to experience. I remember being so excited, so nervous, and just tears uh, all at the same time. To the next Miss Teen USA 2018, I would encourage you to remember what inspired you to compete in your first pageant. For me, it was because I wanted to be the role model that I wish I had had when I was a young girl. Be that role model for millions of young girls. I also encourage you to live in each and every moment in your role as Miss Teen USA. And don't hold anything back and go get that crown. Such amazing words. All right, you guys, we're having so much fun. And before we reveal our top five, you know, I just want to make sure my host over here is credible. So I know you've always wanted to give me your best pageant walk. You've heard from there. We're going to put you from the test. I mean, well, do you want to see my walk? Yes. <laughs> and you know what? You Louder. know who's going to judge it? <laughs> These two. This will never happen again. So, yes, let's do this. Do your pageant I need some walk. music. All right, ladies, you're music? the judges. So make sure you get a good look. I need to hear it from you girls. Where do you want me? All right, DJ, are we ready with the music? Give it to us, Cece. <laughs> Woo! Ladies, what do you think? I think it's Pearl. Yeah. Any I tips? mean, well, I do like the eyes on the judges the whole time, so I'll take that. Yeah. I right. think it's only fair since I got to judge Demi. Okay. So I want to hear your thoughts. Oh, my thoughts? She yeah. liked the twirl. Oh, she did. Yeah. Well, she asked for it. So. Well, there you go. All right, great <laughs> job, you. You're in next year's running, all right? I think I'm overage. <laughs> all right, I think the results are in. Tall, bring them on up. Let's hear who's our next top five. I'm nervous. I am holding the top five right here. With a thirst for first, Colorado. For number two, we're calling you North Carolina. Thor be number four when you're Kansas. And number five, you're still alive, Illinois. Congratulations. 
congratulations to our top five. Okay, before we turn up the pressure with the final question, let's find out a little more about our finalists. Colorado, come on up. Colorado, tell us about some of your recent volunteer work. So I do a lot of volunteer work with kids who have disabilities. They hold a very special place in my heart. So every day in the classroom, I am working with kids who have Down syndrome, autism, and it has changed my life completely with their positive attitudes. And I just admire kids who have disabilities. Thank you so much. Colorado, North Carolina. North Carolina, tell us about some of the volunteer you uh, tell us about some of the volunteer work you've been doing in India. Okay, so when I was a junior in high school, I went to the Blind People's Association in Northern India, and I had the opportunity to work with the kids. I got to teach them stuff. It was really, really interesting, and honestly, it was the most eye-opening experience I've ever had in my life. Amazing! Thank you so much. South Carolina. South Carolina, you created a foundation called Service with Self. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so I created this foundation because I noticed that high schoolers in my area, they really wanted to volunteer, but they didn't know where to begin. So I created it to help engage them in their community. And recently, I went on a service trip with Clemson, and I went to the island of Dominica. And not to be confused with Dominican Republic, I know it's confusing, but I went over there, it's in the Caribbean, and I had an exceptional time. It was beautiful and it was wonderful. And we were there rebuilding after Hurricane Maria had hit. This hurricane, Category 5, devastated the island. And I'm proud to say that next year I'll be returning with a Clemson research team to help use a UNICEF grant to preserve the native Kalanagan language on the island. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Kansas! Kansas, you want to run for political office one day. If you were campaigning tonight, what would you say to potential voters? Well, if I were campaigning tonight, especially since it is such a prevalent issue and we are dedicating tonight's show, I would address gun control because children should be able to attend school and feel safe in their classrooms. Thank you, Thank you so much, Kansas. And to Illinois. Illinois, you hope to work in the entertainment industry. Tell me about your dream job. I would like to be a dancer. No longer am I able to fulfill that dream, do dream due to my torn labrums in my hip, but I am still going to be in the industry, the entertainment industry, because I will be an up and coming model. Fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you to our top five. And now it is the moment we've all been waiting for. Each finalist will randomly pick the name of a member of the selection committee who will ask a question. The final question this year, we're doing things a little differently. Since this is the 35th annual anniversary of the first Miss Teen USA pageant, let's pay homage to our formers by asking the exact same questions posed to past Miss Teen USA winners. All right, here we go. Let's begin with Colorado. Please pick a name from the bowl. Marta Toprin. Hi, so this question was asked during the very first Teen USA pageant in 1983, won by New York's Ruth Zakarian. What is it about teenagers you wish adults would understand better? I wish adults would understand better um, Teenagers need freedom to learn and grow as individuals. We need to have that independence so every day we can get out in the world and learn the good and the bad things that we need to be doing every day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Colorado. North Carolina. Please pick a name from the bowl. Kalani Hilliker. Congratulations on making it this far. 
So this question was asked during the 2004 Miss Teen USA pageant, won by Louisiana's Shelly Hennig. Do you think your future will be determined by choice, chance, or destiny? You know, I'm a huge believer in creating your own destiny. So what that means to me is the choices that you make every day, choosing between right and wrong, choosing that you can be the one to determine your success and you can determine whatever you choose to do is up to you. And whatever you're doing is just absolutely 100% in your hands. So I don't believe that, you know, there is fate. I believe that you create whatever it is that you want to do. Thank you so much. South Carolina. Please pick a name from the bowl. Crystal Stewart Seabrex. All right. This question was asked during the 1996 Miss Teen USA pageant, won by Texas, Christy Lee Woods. If you could talk to the president about the problems facing today's teenagers, what would you want to discuss? I would talk to him about the YMCA. And I know that seems kind of odd, but that's the number one place where I love to volunteer. And I work there um, at the High Hopes and the I Educate, I Explore, excuse me, program that helps um, at-risk children in their communities. And if I was given the opportunity to be Miss Teen USA, I would have a High Hopes program put in every single state. And I would lobby on Capitol Hill for the YMCA's to continue their work. Thank you. Thank you, South Carolina. Kansas! Please pick a name from the bowl. Ashley Fox. Hi. This question was asked during the 1985 Miss Teen USA pageant won by Hawaii's Kelly Hu. As Miss Teen USA, you could serve as a role model for many young girls in this country. If you spoke to a group of them, what would you want to tell them? Uh, I started an organization about three years ago called Self Posi because in classical ballet for 14 years, I've grown up as the only African American in my class. So I struggled with some self-esteem issues that I overcame. And after doing that, I felt the need to give back. So I travel to middle schools and tell young girls how important their self-esteem is. And I host a seminar yearly that is free so that any girl of any socioeconomic background can attend. So that is a message that I would just love to expand to a national platform. Thank you so much, Kansas. And Illinois. Please pick the last name from the fishbowl. Brittany Rogers Collins. Hi. Hi. This question was asked during the 1989 Miss Teen USA pageant, won by Idaho's Brandy Sherwood. If you could change anything about your life so far, what would it be? I would change the amount I use social media. Social media is a big thing going on right now when oftentimes girls look on social media as to how they should act or how they should look. I believe if we step away from our phones and take time to meet people in person and look at the actual way we look, I believe that that will make a big difference. Thank you. Thank you, Illinois. And thank you to our top five. Give it up, you guys. Only one of these finalists will be awarded the crown tonight. Will it be Colorado? Or will it be North Carolina? I can't hear you guys in here. Will it be North Carolina? All right, let's keep this energy going, you guys. Or will it be South Carolina? Or possibly Kansas? Or 
or can it be Illinois? Give it up one more time for our top five. Five incredible contestants, but only one is just moments away from becoming the next Miss Teen USA. Her name will be added to this list of inspiring young women. The winner of Miss Teen USA 2017 is... Missouri! never get tired of seeing that. So precious. So here in Shreveport, Beaujais, all these young women have made lifelong friendships, but one contestant stood out as the girl everyone wanted a selfie with. It's not me. This year's Miss Congeniality Teen USA is... Alabama! Congratulations, Alabama! So if any teens watching tonight want to participate in a life-changing experience and make some new friends along the way, go to MissTeenUSA.com to find out how to compete in your state's Miss Teen USA competition. Perhaps we'll see you next year on this stage. Am I too old to apply? Can I still make it? I'll try too, so we'll find out. All right, cool, cool, cool. we'll figure it out. All right, we're getting down to the big moment, but before we find out who will be crowned Miss Teen USA 2018, let's check out some of the highlights from Sofia Dominguez High Tops a year as Miss Teen USA 2017. The most exciting part of my reign was the initial feedback that I received from the entire community of Kansas City. It empowered and inspired me to make sure that this year was spent helping individuals across the country. The most amazing thing that I got to do after receiving my Girl Scout Gold Award was speaking at the Girl Convention in Columbus, Ohio, which was the largest gathering of young women in the entire world. Kyra, Demi, Iris, you all mean so much to me and have been huge role models throughout my year as Miss Teen USA. You constantly inspire me to be the best version of myself. To the contestants that are competing for the titles of both Miss Teen USA and Miss USA, I would tell them to have fun. You're never going to have this opportunity again. So use it in the best way possible by enjoying yourself. I'm so thankful for the Miss Universe organization and the many doors that the Miss Teen USA title has opened for me and allowed me to view my full potential. And I'm so excited for the young girl that will get to take on the role of inspiring thousands and being able to be a voice for so many causes throughout the world. 
taking her final walk as Miss Teen USA 2017, please welcome Sofia Dominguez Hightoff. As a young girl, I remember watching Miss Teen USA and knew I wanted to be a part of an organization that inspired others. On July 29, 2017, I was crowned and my journey began. Throughout my year, I have brought my message of inclusion for all to the national stage, became an ambassador for Best Buddies, and worked to improve the lives of adults with developmental disabilities. Throughout my time as Miss Teen USA, I've had endless support thanks to my loving parents who always inspire me to work towards achieving all of my goals. I hope I have made you proud. To my loving friends and family who supported my reign, I am forever grateful. To Kyra, Iris, and Demi, sisters forever, you are all incredible role models. Thank you to my MUO family, including Emily, Esther, Jackie, Jonathan, Rebecca, Brooke, and Paula. I'm forever grateful. And to all of the young women competing tonight, this is simply a part of your journey, not your destination. I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish. Thank you, Sophia. We're all so proud of the job you've done this past year. As we bring the top five back to the stage, let's give a big round of applause to our selection committee panel. The amazing staff here at George's Pond at Hirsch Coliseum. Gold Sheep Activewear. And of course, the fans. You guys have been incredible all week. Come on, give yourself a better round of applause. Come on. I want to hear you guys. <laughs> Nicely done, you guys. Okay, Tall, are you ready to do this? Tall, you look so excited. I've never seen you happier. And now, the official results signed off by Tall Goldhammer of the accounting firm Ernst & Young. Thank you, Tall. Ladies and gentlemen, one of these five accomplished young women is about to be crowned the next Miss Teen USA. The fourth runner-up for Miss Teen USA 2018 is North Carolina. The third runner-up is Illinois. The second runner-up is Colorado. And then there were two. If for any reason the new Miss Teen USA cannot fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. Good luck to you both and congratulations, ladies. The winner of Miss Teen USA 2018 is...